Hello and welcome to Stuttnet. Today I show you how to set up your wireless router to be used in Stuttnet. So let us begin. Today we have a TP-Link wireless router, TP-Link 300 Mbps. Uh, the router is new, so let us unbox it. In the box you find the short manual for the router, the router, you find also the power injector for the router and the network cable. Important uh, notice on this point, uh, so when you uh, buy the router uh, new you don't have to put this to the factory settings, but when you brought this from at home or uh, you get this fr uh, from your neighbor and the router was already in use, you must put the router to the factory settings with this small button on the back of the router. On the router you find also a small note, on this note you find also the name of the uh, wireless network and the uh, uh, wireless security key for the network. You find also the address uh, for the uh, homepage of the router and the uh, username and the password from the router. So let us plug in the router. Now we prepare the router to put it to the factory settings. First we must plug in the power injector into the router. We take the power injector that we found it in the box, we open the cable, and we plug the power injector into the router. On the back of the router we have the power button. Make sure the power button is pressed down. We push the button to the on position. Now we plug in the power injector and waiting till the router is started. You see this on the lamps. The power lamp is now blinking. We must wait till the power lamp lighting constant. The second lamp, the wireless lamp is now on. Now you see that the router is ready to put to the factory settings. On the back of the router we have two small buttons. Reset button and the wireless button. We push now the reset button and hold it for a few seconds till the lamps going off and the router restart. Now we let go the button and wait till the router start. But like I already said, putting the router to the factory settings is only then needed when the router is not new, when you get this from your neighbor or brought this from at home and the router was already in use, then we strongly recommend it to put the router to the factory settings. The router is now ready, you see this on the lamps, both lamps, the power lamp and the wireless and lamp are now lighting, now we can connect the network cable to the router. We take the network cable that was in the box, we open the cable, and plug it into the WAN port. It's very important to plug the cable into this port. The second end we plug into the network socket in the wall. In Stuttnet we have mainly network sockets with two ports, so we always plug the cable into the left port. You see now that the lamp from the internet is now going on, but it's still orange, so we wait till the lamp will be green. You see the router is rebooting now, so we wait till
till the three lamps, the power lamp, wireless lamp and the internet lamp are green and lighting constant. So, the router is now ready to configure it on the computer. Now we must connect the computer to wireless router. To do this, click with the left mouse button on the small internet icon in the right button corner and you sh should see the list of the wireless networks. When you don't see the list with the wireless networks, make sure that the small wireless network button is on. Now we're looking for our network in the list and we click with the left mouse button on this network. We're leaving here on uh, automatically connecting and we click on connecting. Now we must put the uh, wireless security key and we click on next. And for all these that are not having our Studentnet login client, going now to the internet site to our homepage studentenwerk-leipzig.de slash studentnet-client. On this site you find the link to download our Studentnet login client. I can abort the downloading because I already have it. Please follow the steps and install the program. The icon that we have on the desktop, we start the Studentnet login client. And we put our tenant number and our password. Like I already said, the tenant number and the password you find also on your personal network data paper. You have received the data from your official in charge for housing. Now we click on connect. You see the welcome message, you see also the information about your traffic that you use it in this month. And you see the button is going green. So you successfully connected to the Studnet. So that's it guys from my side bye bye